So the first thing you need to know about me as a composer is that words sing to me. They have their own melody, they have their own pitches and their own, obviously, duration. And it tells me the melody that they want to be set to. And so I just try to listen and write it down. It also gives me sometimes the harmonic atmosphere that these words want to be in. And so I try to write that down as well. I think the main reason for that weirdness in my brain is because of my parents. Um, they both are academics in word and music areas. Um, and I grew up singing in some of my father's choirs. He was a music theory professor, an ethnomusicologist, a minister. My mom is a folklorist, anthropologist, um, and she teaches courses in speech writing and elocution. And so I just grew up around this nexus of words and music, right? And so I was familiar with the magic that they can make when they're put together in just the right way. It's, it's an enchantment. It's sacred. It's just amazing. Um, and then when I became a singer, and I was a singer from like two and a half on, but especially when I started singing professionally, I realized that I also had a knack for, and I wanted what I wrote to be comfortable to sing, even though sometimes I write hard stuff. I want it to feel graceful when the singer has figured it out, right? I also look at it as my responsibility to connect with the audience. So if they don't like something that I've written, it's my fault. It's not their fault for not understanding it. And yeah, I've just become addicted to the feeling of writing a song or an aria and having it not only connect with the singer and the pianist or whomever is performing it with the singer, but also the audience. That moment when they hear what I heard in the text, in the music of the text.